something God shared with me, and I shared it with my wife this morning, and it shook me. Amen. At 3.30 this morning, I woke up, and I saw, I saw a lake of fire. And I'm looking at this lake, and it, it went as far as the eye can see. And in this lake was Satan, his angels, and the people of the earth. There were so many people that was in the lake of fire. And then I heard the Lord speak to me, and I went back to the scriptures. He said, warn them of the wrath that is to come. And I'm not quite sure, but as I was talking to the apostle when I shared that with him this morning, he said, oh my God. I'm not quite sure we have an urgency. And I'm talking, I'm talking about you, I'm talking about when it comes to sharing the message, to understand that there is a reality yet to come. For those that don't accept Christ, I'm not trying to, to frighten anyone. This is a reality that God has set in motion. Amen. And he's given everyone the opportunity okay. to receive Jesus yes. into their hearts. To understand that he died for them. When I saw that, I said, God have mercy. So, can, can you even wrap your mind around a lake of nothing but fire and it has no end? And it's just constant burning. You understand that the lake of fire, that is the final destination for all those that don't accept Christ. Hell is temporary. That's right. That's right. We've been so frightened of hell. Hell is temporary. Because the Lord said hell has enlarged itself without measure because of the disobedience that's in the earth. Now, if think about this now. If hell has enlarged itself without measure, the lake of fire must be big enough to contain it. Amen. And when I saw that, I said, Lord, have mercy. I pray that I stand before you and always speak truth to you. And that if I sense something in your life, to be able to communicate that to you, not, not exposing you to anybody, but to be able to communicate truth. And that I pray that whenever you are walking in a certain way, you know your own lifestyle, that when you hear truth, that you would receive it. I pray that, that my labor ah, yes. is not yes. in vain to work. Not one. That's right. Not one be left behind. Amen. Not one be lost. And so I, I just encourage you with that to understand that, that the end of this all is, is prophetic and God has put that in motion. That he said that devil in all his gifts, the final destination will be cast into the lake of fire. <laughs> and it will have no end. And so I was asking Paul, I said, I'm not sure why God will re reveal that to me now. And I was just sitting there as just as clear as I'm sitting up here talking to you. I, I'm looking at this. And I said, okay, Lord, what is my part in this? Why have you revealed that to me? You allowed me to see this. And so I'm sure it was to make sure that I'm right. Mm -hmm. See, the message is always first to me. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about my own life as he's showing me all this. And I said, oh, Lord, Lord, help me. Amen. Because I don't want to experience that outcome. Amen. So where I'm falling short. Yeah. Help me. Amen. 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 Because that's what it's about now. This is about 
working out my salvation. Make it sure. You know what? My, my, my minister will sing that song. We sing it so often. I'm going to treat everybody right. You know what I was saying? I was saying, Lord, help me. <laughs> help me treat everybody right. Starting with my home. Yes. That's a that's a tall tale. Yes. Yes. I would say I'm a trap. When, 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 when I know I can't do it. When the when, when Jesus says to Peter, forgive seven times seven in, in a day, Peter said, Lord help my faith. What was he saying? Amen. So I just I just want to encourage your heart today. You know, this life that we've been given is precious. Every single day. And God has given us a way out of the judgment that is to come. When Jesus comes back the second time, he's not coming back for sin, mm -hmm. to deal mm -hmm. with repentance. Right. The Bible says he's coming back for judgment. Right. And I want to make sure that I escape that judgment. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to... Oh, goodness, Dorina took all the time. So. <laughs> Praise God. I'm just messing with you. Let me, I just, I'll start this message because it's, ever since we had our, our uh, school of ministry last week, I've been stuck on it. Uh, on understanding what sanctification is. And I believe it will help us continue to build on our Christian walk uh, as we continue this journey. This journey is, is by far being over. Ah. You know, uh, we have to receive from God and then we have to, in our turn, empower the next generation behind us. Amen. Amen. When was the last time we poured into our children? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Amen. I'm talking to all of us, myself first. Amen where we really pour in this wisdom that we have about living, not just pouring just scripture, pouring wisdom mm -hmm. into them so that when our time of transition comes, they're prepared. Amen. 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 And sometimes we don't want to deal with our children because we feel like it's, that it's, we're going to run them away. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I read this thing says, teach, let us take up the mantle and teach our boys to be men or else the enemy will teach them to be women. So if we don't stand up and act, uh -huh. the enemy will seize the opportunity of our inaction. Amen. He certainly will teach them his way. And you can take the girl too. That's the truth. That's right. If we don't teach them to be women, That's right. then the enemy will teach them to be men. Why does the enemy teach them to be men or, or the men to be women? Because it's contrary to God. That's it, period. Anything that he can do to oppose God, that's what he's doing. Grab that young boy, that young girl. And speak into them. Yes. And if they've already made a turn, it's not too late as long as they're breathing. Disrupt what is. With what should be. <laughs> Amen. You declare to that young boy who's thinking he's a girl. In the name of Jesus, I speak your original power. Y'all looking at me. Am I offending somebody this morning? Y'all didn't know I was this morning. Look at that young lady say in the name of Jesus, I speak your original purpose. And while you're doing it, listen, hear me, beloved. I'm not talking about 
condemning. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You condemning is not going to do anything but reinforce. I'm talking about speaking their purpose. Because they need us, beloved. They really need us. Amen. Okay. I'm going to take a couple minutes and share and lay the foundation on this. And then we're going to go. Amen. I love it when we come and when we praise. That's going to get us further along. Than anything. Talking about sanctified people. Mm -hmm. Sanctification mm -hmm. did not originate with man. That's right. All right. Uh, nope. Sanctification originated in the heart of God. Hallelujah. All man could do was acknowledge it, mm -hmm. align with it, or reject it. But oh, what God has said, but as for me, I chose you. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. please see that this morning. You may not even, if you're not even saved today, see what we need to be telling the unsaved, God chose you. Hallelujah. Isn't that amazing that God chose a people that didn't even know him and in God's heart they were already sanctified. So sanctification don't start with us. It starts with God. God said, I didn't choose you because you're small. I didn't choose you because you're better than anybody else. I just decided to set my love on you. So sanctification started with him. Yeah. Yeah. But what God needed yeah. was for me to agree. Because he needed me to agree. Yeah. Come on, when he came to Mary, he said, Mary, let me, let me define to you my purpose for you. I have chosen you to bring forth my only son. And this is what his life is going to be. Yes. 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 And at the end of him telling her what it was all about, and she got all her questions answered, yes, yes, she said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me. Oh, she said, I agree with your purpose for why you set me apart. Hallelujah. Mary was looking for it, but he chose her nonetheless. Mary didn't go to seminary. But God chose. Come on, she didn't go to Harvard. But God chose. So there are people walking this earth. Now hear me now. Don't confuse sanctification with salvation. All right. All right. That's right. Just because God set me apart for it doesn't mean that I accept it. Amen. He just said, This is what I call you to be. Mm -hmm. Many are rejecting me. Mm -hmm. Give me the give me the VHS one. That for those that went on school of ministry, this will bless you. Yes, sir. Brother Paul, back. I couldn't find the one with the A-track. <laughs> So I said, let me go VHS, they'll steal some of them around. <laughs> now hear me when it, y'all got to stay with me when it comes to sanctification. Let me, I, I didn't give you the definition. Can you just, sanctification, to consecrate. I love this next one, to devote. Set apart from a common to a sacred purpose. Come on, God, what did he do? God just took 
something common yeah. Yeah. and set it apart for something sacred. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something greater than they could have ever done by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. He took and set that apart. He devoted it for something better than common. Something that was sacred to him. Yes. Come on, look to somebody and say, you're already sanctified. You are already sanctified. When you were walking there. <laughs> Don't be scared to tell them, brother. Hey, tell them. Is devoted. Yes. Now this is now understand when we look at this definition, this is what God did. Yes. Of, listen, at first he did it for the original Jew. Uh -huh. He said, I pick you out from among all the people of the earth. All of them. Out of all the ones that's in the earth, I choose yes. this Jew. Uh -huh. To be special. Mm -hmm. To be above common. Mm -hmm. And the Jews. Rejected him. Mm -hmm. And when they did. That gave a doorway. An opening. Mm -hmm. For us Gentiles. Yeah. Yeah. Come on hear me. Please hear me now. I'm not talking about. In, in the world of theology. There's something called replacement theology. I'm not talking about replacement theology. Because there's no such thing. God didn't call the Gentile to replace the Jew. He called the Gentile to engraft us in so that we could provoke the Jew to jealousy. Oh, y'all, Lord have mercy. You when you read the word of God, God said, I didn't call you because you were great, because you were greater in number. He said, You were few in number. But I chose to set my love on you. Yes, thank you, and when the Jews rejected it, mm -hmm. when Jesus came on the scene, they rejected it. Uh -huh. God moved on the Gentiles. Yes, yeah. So God said, I want you to see what I do in the Gentile. Yes. And listen, in the hope that you will be yes. provoked yes. and come back to your sacred yes. purpose. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's how we made it in. Yes. Because the Jews the chosen. Why God chose that, nobody knows. But he did. Amen. But then he opened the door for all of us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So now understand this, beloved. Understand this. And I'm going to try to surmise this in two minutes. I know y'all said it ain't no way. <laughs> Stop talking about me, Mama She. <laughs> My wife ain't going anywhere. Not, not much of that dribble up talk. <laughs> but hear me now. And if you don't get nothing else that I say, okay, please hear me. You watch yourself. I love you, but you watch yourself. But let me go. Listen, understand. This VHS, it could be a, it could be a DVD, it could be a, a cassette player, but in this case, it's VHS. And it was in the mind of the Creator. And the creator designed it for a single purpose. And hear me now, and it doesn't matter where that VHS finds itself. It could be in China. It could be in the United States. It could be over in the UK. And if you plug it in, it will function the way it was designed. Oh, hallelujah. And it, listen, and it does not matter whether you're black or white. It doesn't know whether a black man or a white man pushed a VHS in it. All it knows is doing what it was designed to do. Oh, glory to God. And give God's people. We'll just begin to function the way we were created to function. It doesn't matter what environment you find yourself in. Whether you're on a good job, bad job. Whether you're on no job at all. In whatever environment you find yourself in. 
yourself. Function the way God created you. Don't let the black man cause you to lose your function. Don't let the white man cause you to lose your function. You were created for a sacred purpose. The VHS don't care who's putting the VHS in. It functions. And if you try to introduce something in it that it does not recognize, it won't move. Oh, I wish we could hear that as a church for today. Oh, God, when the world tries to introduce something to us, something, introduce something to your life that's not according to the way you were created, mm -hmm. you got to learn to not function. I know that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, hear me now. Please hear me now. I'm a, I'm a, I said two minutes. My daughter spoke truthfully about it. <laughs> Listen. When that VHS recognizes something it introduced to it that it wasn't designed for, it don't go back and call the creator and say, should I play this or not? It simply don't recognize it and it will not function. Why would somebody get you to try to lie and go coercion with them talking about people? Well, you got to go and ask God about whether you should do that or not. No, you talking about trying to pray because you want to talk about it. When anything is introduced to you that you were not designed to function with, don't function. It's not part of the program. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, stand to me. Saints of God, it is so much to our relationship and our walk. If I were to look at Sister Parker and Brother Parker don't want to function, it shouldn't impact her function. But how many know it does? I've been using that as an example. We allow that to happen. If something is introduced to me that is not according to the program, I'll be like that VHS has been simply rejected. And I pray that God help us with this. Yeah. And it all comes down to what yeah. we were set apart for. Amen. That which is not common, Amen. but sacred Amen. unto God. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, you said as often as we partake of this supper, we do it in remembrance. In remembrance of what you died for, what you were resurrected for. And Father, we remember. We remember the stripes that you took for us. And we rejoice in knowing that you got up from the grave. Thank you. And you stood in the presence of the Father yes. and sprinkled the mercy seal, yes. sealing our redemption. Yes. And today we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
And I pray, God, that all the benefits of this supper yes. will be realized. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen.